Hello, it's Louis Burtis, your diabetes reversal health coach and physician assistant. Uh, today I want to talk about the real reason why your diabetic diet is not working. You're probably not alone if you're, you have diabetes and you're following the advice given by your medical provider to cut back on bread, pasta, rice, you know, all the carbs, uh, as well as the snacks that you, you used to love. It seems like there's so little you can eat, but you're doing your best. You know, you're sacrificing, making changes, but you're pricking your finger, going through the pain of, of checking to see if your sugars are improving, and they're not improving. They're still high. You know, and weeks pass by, months pass by, and it's the same thing. You know, you may have some improvement, but it's not anywhere near where you want it to be. If this is you, if you, you've experienced this, know that you're not alone. Many people who have diabetes follow the advice given to them by their medical providers and still find no or little improvement when it comes to their diabetes. So I want to talk about this. There's three reasons why your diabetes, diabetic diet is not working. First, I want to give a disclaimer. Okay, so as a physician assistant, I feel like I've been part of the problem you know, treating diabetes all these years, the traditional route. Um, let me first say this. Your doctor may not know as much about nutrition as you'd want them to. <laughs> um, there's actually been surveys that, that compared um, nutritional knowledge from patients and doctors. And the survey showed that patients often knew more than their doctors on nutrition. Surprise, surprise. You may know more than your doctor when it comes to nutrition. Why is this? Well, the medical base, or I should say the, the framework or, or, or that, that we are given in medical school is to treat symptoms, right? To find the right uh, treatment for that, that covers the right symptom. It doesn't deal with prevention. It, in very little cases does it actually deal with reversing the root cause of illness. Uh, we focus on managing your symptoms, right? Whether it be something as common as a cold or something as chronic as diabetes. And so, the, and let me not say that medications don't have their place. They absolutely have their place and they can be life changing, life saving. But it doesn't deal with the root cause of diabetes to focus on the symptoms of diabetes. See, the most common diet given diabetics is to be on a low carb diet to decrease the amount of carbohydrates in their diet and you may see some improvement over time right but as many diabetics have seen eventually the numbers come back you know the a1c elevates again so why is this because if you focus on the symptom um it's simple it's 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 a i guess a good analogy is like if someone has a peanut allergy right and I tell them that if you want to cure yourself of your peanut allergy, stop eating peanuts. It doesn't work that way, right? You still have a peanut allergy. If I tell you as a diabetic to stop eating carbs to cure yourself of diabetes, it doesn't work that way, right? Because all you're doing in going on a low carb diet is dealing with the symptoms. The symptoms of diabetes is that your body can no longer tolerate high sugars, okay? So let's just get that right there, you know, uh, understood. We have to find out what the cause is so that we can then reverse the, the, the disease. When you find the cause of the disease, you can then reverse the disease. Diabetes is caused by insulin resistance, okay? And there's three reasons why most diets don't address that issue, and so they fail at reversing your diabetes. And of course, that, I hope that's everyone's goal who has diabetes, not just to manage their symptoms, not just to keep their sugar under control, but to come to the place where they don't need medicine anymore, uh, where they can check the A1C and it's below a detect detectable level for diabetes. So reason number one that your diabetic diet is not working is that it treats all carbs as equal. So most diabetic diets you know, function from uh, under the premise that every carb is equal. So if you're eating an apple, an orange, or fruit, you know, whether they be uh, uh, vegetables or whole grains or legumes, those um, those starchy vegetables especially, you know, are the same 
as the carbs found in highly reprocessed or refined foods. That's not the case. Refined and processed carbs are not the same as whole food carbohydrate sources. Foods that come from nature. Foods that come from the vine or the ground or the tree. Those carbohydrates, your body can handle them. But when we have too many processed or refined carbohydrates, this is what causes the complications or um, makes it harder to reverse diabetes. That's number one. We're focusing on the wrong type of carbohydrates, okay? We are, the fruits and vegetables are okay. What we need to limit is the processed, refined carbohydrates in your diet. Reason number two, and this is very important, you have to address the root cause of diabetes, which is insulin resistance. Many studies have actually shown that, that insulin resistance is caused not by carbohydrates as much as by a, a diet that is high in fat. We in America usually um, have anywhere from 30 to 50 percent fat in our daily diet. Um, many cases is more. Um, in this high fat diet, many studies have shown this is not something new. This is this is um, and I'll have studies in the comment section uh, that you can uh, click on and, and view. This is not something that Lewis is making up. These studies are hundreds of years old that connect the fact that fat causes your body to be resistant to insulin. Insulin is the hormone that controls what your body does to food, where your where food is stored when you eat it, how it's how and when it's burned for energy. So when your body can't tolerate or is resistant to the insulin, the hormone insulin in your body, what happens now is when you eat carbohydrate rich foods, it gets trapped in your blood. Lewis, who doesn't have diabetes, can eat bananas and fruit and he's okay. But the other person, another person who has diabetes eats that same banana and the sugar gets trapped in his blood. The reason is not because of the banana. The banana didn't do it to you. It was the fact that your body is resistant to insulin. So the second reason why most diets are failing you in reversing diabetes is they're not addressing the root cause. That's insulin resistance. Reason number three is tied to reason number two. The diet that's promoted uh, by many uh, health professionals to improve your diabetes health is actually making it worse. Think about it. When you go on a low-carb diet or a ketogenic diet, many people know about the keto diet. It's so popular nowadays. And because many doctors, unfortunately, don't get a lot of nutrition, you may have doctors that actually encourage the keto diet. Maybe you know. Maybe it was your doctor. But the, the truth is, but because we don't have a lot of nutrition under our belts, we can get caught up in fad diets, okay? So the keto diet, low-carb diet, the reason why this has failed is failing to really improve. And it may actually, let me, may, may slow down a little bit. And you may actually see some improvement. But in the long run, it, it, it very often fails to reverse diabetes in the same way peanuts, stopping, eating, stopping peanuts fails to reverse a peanut allergy, right? Um, but when you eat a diet that is uh, high in meat, dairy, eggs, cheese, you're eating a diet that's high in fat. And that fat, as many studies have shown, and again, I will link some of those studies in the comment section, that fat in the diet actually makes your body more and more resistant to insulin. And many studies have shown that with insulin resistance is tied to many chronic illnesses, not just diabetes. One study that is, uh, goes by the acronym of EPIC, the EPIC study studied 500,000 people over 12 years. And guess what they found? In their diet, with those who were who, who were placed just 5%, a small amount, just 5% of saturated fat from meat, eggs, meat, eggs, dairy, cheese, for example, with fruits, found a 30% reduction in diabetes risk. Just 5% replacing animal products with fruits, the food that we're told not to eat, can reduce your risk of diabetes and its complications by as much as 30%. So these are the three reasons why it's so hard to reverse diabetes with the common knowledge we receive today. So 
if you're you have diabetes or you know someone else who has diabetes and they need support they need help I want to invite you to join my Facebook group that will also be in the comment section that is goes by the name of diabetes 180 there you receive uh, the most up-to-date information when it comes to diabetes reversal I will also provide you uh, many opportunities to receive free meal plans uh, uh, basically uh, uh, a course that's catered to you and your diabetes reversal so I hope that you uh, can find this video informative and that you just look for that link and join the group and continue to receive the information that can help not maybe not just you but many people family friends with diabetes